Hello my friends, <laughs> welcome back to my channel. I have a dilemma here, decision, decision, what to do, what to do. Look at this, I will show you what I have in here. Now, recently we opened with you this image, this cross stitch from Equal Buy. Look at that gorgeousness, right? And remember I told you that I have a very similar one with beautiful flowers, but has a peacock on it. And here is this other kit. Let me pull out because I already, like before I received this one, I already tear apart this one. And here I have only like those uh, threads that already have like an extra. And let me pull out the image oh, that's the one like this okay so see we have in here and this one is the flowers and has a peacock on it it's actually two birds in here so the llama I love them both so much you can see the similarity of those beautiful flowers like this one flowers it's uh, exactly kind of like the uh, same flowers in here just different arrangements right so this one image is 148 by 71 centimeters and this one is 150 by 55 centimeters so this one a little bit smaller it's a little bit longer kind of this way on two centimeters but in here is 55 and this one is 71 so I thought you know even I already opened this one and I can show you what I did so in here is all the extra goodness I will put this image back in here this one is from GBFKE. If you're interested, I will link it up for you under this video. Both this one and this one. This one is from Equal Buy. We just recently did with you review. They are both stunning, and I love them so much that there's a possibility I even will start them both. They both 11 count Ada, and I think that's the reason why I kind of want to start one more because at the campground, as you know already. I work on 11 count Ada from Everyday Crafts, my puppy flowers, and I feel like I should have one more, something easy to stitch because most of them of my craft stitching it's 14 count, and sometimes it's not very easy to, to stitch, especially right now, this week, my eye is twitching, driving me nuts. So look what I did already here, like I prepare, I was going to cross stitch till I received this one, like I already braided, the colors in here is just magnificent, magnificent. So I have here braid, beautiful long stretch of the threads. So now I'm thinking, let me put them back in here. And I will put this, I found big bag from something that actually will fit nicely without, uh, they came in a smaller bag that doesn't fit right now because they kind of pull apart and the other bag will go kind of tight together and I will just put this one just together to keep them together. So in my plan, I might will start two of them and doesn't matter, you know, you could say, why would you start, okay, this is upside down and it's going to create me, okay, hold on, I will fix the right way, I don't like the right and upside down and image upside down, okay, so now we'll do right, so what I will do, I will start on one and you would say, okay, you already have so many, of them in progress why would you start again and one of the crafter cross teachers say and I so related to that she say 
it doesn't matter if I start on one and put away it will lay down and wait for me or it will be untouched sitting on a shelf and I know it's there but I'm not touching it so it's kind of the same thing but when you already kitten up and you can grab it anytime and put even 100 stitches and it's make you happy do it and you know what I listened to her and I thought what the heck why wouldn't I start because this is really kind of following me I keep thinking and thinking about it so I thought that's it I will be working on it as well I will put into my rotations and because it's an 11 count Ada it will be so much easy for me like another video whip and chat to work together with you I love this booklet and I love this brand of Chinese um, like the, it's a nice book itself it's nice and colorful beautiful print in here very nice and bright in a big squares just the way I like it sometimes squares are so tiny so it's almost like a fourth of the square of one and this one is beautiful printed and just those flowers are so gorgeous so gorgeous so I will say if you have money you want to purchase go for it because for this kind of size I think it's pretty affordable price for the size of this canvas and it's not even just for the size of the canvas for the amount of threads you will get with it so I was thinking and thinking you know is it too expensive for you and when I would calculate like threads and everything I think it's a good good price actually to buy and you have a huge canvas to work for years on it so here is that just a reminder if you didn't see my unboxing if you want to see everything everything in details I will link it up for you my unboxing video for this one and when I link yeah that's what I will do I will link it up for you both video unboxing for them and under each video you will have link directly to this image okay that way will be kind of a little bit easy for me and less work to go to the store and again look for the links so I will just link my video under this video in the description box okay so and there is a possibility one day very soon I will start on this one too plus I already uh, kitten up the big cottage image remember but that one is 14 count and it is another beauty so we will be actually working today I think on this one I think we should start so what I will do first we will put this booklet away I want to remind myself have this canvas look like on the inside if I have to pick up one of symbols inside of the booklet or not sometimes you don't even need it sometimes could be uh, area that's very like pixelated and maybe you want to refer yourself to the specific DMC code you need to check to the book it's a good thing to have don't lose the book ever uh, then we have here this reminder see like it's already prepared as I purchased oh that's the one another beauty thing about uh, I believe they both these kids have this kind of tool set in here included so that's wonderful to have this okay I have to put this away of course my puppy have to start running the house why not because I'm recording video so here is just a reminder to show you quickly what we will work on it what kind of threads in here is just beautiful beautiful shades in here gorgeous right and um, I don't know if I want to test it out threads if they leak color or not I did once on my horses remember I did tutorial how you can check if your threads will leak colors or not so far I didn't have any problems but I definitely um, then check this brand that was a brand that I check my threads was I think um, what's my horses maybe even the same one or that was uh, Joy Sunday that one probably was Joy Sunday I can't remember right now I have to look so anyway that's the goodness we will work on it and my needles obviously I put all needles in here so I will use one of these needles 
and let's see which corner I should start and maybe for that reference I need my little booklet in here which corner I would love to start in here I don't really want to start from like a background I want to start from a juicy part and maybe I will use my frame or the round hoop I don't know I really would love to start some kind of flowers maybe maybe oh you are too far from me you are too far from me I don't know maybe like in this flower or maybe this juicy oh I really probably want to start on this flower because it's like the main focus flower in here and to create a few of those brown maybe even leaves so maybe I will start from this side of the canvas big flower so let's see what kind of symbols up there and if it's uh, easy to work on it is it difficult to start let me zoom out back so you can see more of the canvas and this is canvas just to die for oh my god how much I love this one yes and thank you so much equal buy for this beauty I'm so glad that it came in this kind of brand so this is huge 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 and it's going to be like this look at this we open just the half of the canvas and let's keep going it's gorgeous really really beautiful so here is that big big flower right in here even if I fold on half okay to show you like this okay it's almost like a full um, let's say like the flowers finishing in here so if I start in here should I start from some petal or maybe I should start from the leaf or I should start like right from the corner and keep going maybe from the top oh decision decision I really don't know and let me check this you know, maybe right now, for the sake of the recording video, to get me a little bit easy to stitch, I will maybe start like right in here from the bottom, because if I will record video, this canvas obviously will be folded, probably like this, like this, and I will pin in here on each side with my clips uh, some of the stores I was going to order to review if they are good or not cross stitch stores where the tools area they have those two I thought purple and blue or something or two blue has a two set I think together you buy pins like a clips for the stitching uh, usually I'm using from like a staple uh, or some kind of uh, clips from you can buy in Walmart or staple even dollar store just like a paper clips and clip in here you can use even your hair clip they using it for the bun or hold like a lots of hair those clips will work as well so I would be fold like this and I would probably hold this in okay I need to move camera towards me a little bit okay let me see if I would do, okay, now it doesn't work because camera stay in the canvas. So if I would do, I would start probably in here on the bottom to work with you on the camera right now. And there is a 39, lots of the same shading in here on the bottom. It would be easy for me to work right now to work without any frame or hoop. I would be start from in here and just go hold them in my hands, literally. Maybe that's what I will do right now and work up for myself. I don't know. I usually start, I like to start work from the bottom, but to get to the juicy flower colors, probably that would be more interesting for you to see. So maybe later on, I will try to stitch at least like one petal to see how this is going to look like. Right? That would be look beautiful, all those juicy colors. And looks like it's going to be stitching such an easy canvas to work on. If I get very, very close, you can see literally patches of colors. 
don't have confetti whatsoever this is such an easy canvas to work on so definitely I recommend for you if you don't like work on 14 count either because your eyes not strong enough anymore and this one you don't even need the glasses looks really good so I will be starting working on uh, from the bottom maybe we could stitch a little bit together right now on um, this area like right in here and then I will figure out on myself later on um, to see how would be more comfortable for me to work should I put this in a frame on a hoop or just work in my hands because if I would work in my hands let me show you one more time how I work I would literally roll this, not like fold, but roll to to make a less, create less of the wrinkles, for example. Okay, let me do it this right now. Okay, not enough room with this kind of big canvas, so I would roll the colors inside, so I don't make my canvas dirty too much, okay? So I will roll it literally like this. Sometimes I even roll on a foam roller, the one that diamond paintings come, like the one that Dreamers Design support their canvas, or those double-sided adhesive roller, uh, for double-sided adhesive canvases, the foam roller come with them. Uh, I would put inside, uh, kind of in here for extra support so your canvas don't get squished. Uh, not necessary need, but just if you want to. So I would roll, 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 and we keep keep rolling. Okay, just like that, just like that. Hold on. Okay, like this, and then uh, I would pin in here and in here. And that's it. This is, would be like easy for me if I want to hold in my hands and stitch. And when I hold in my hands and I have to get to this area, I would roll this way, like this. Let me show you this one hand if I can do it. And I just hold in my hands and I stitch. But this one would be like a little bit more arm rolls for my more comfortable zone. So that's how I work or I will work this way, not sure. But for now, I will pin this so this will stay this way. And let's get set up the camera and see what we can do, what kind of color we should pick. Should I do start from the top or the bottom? For the purpose of recording, probably for me will be more comfortable right now to stitch from this point in here. And number two. 39 the only thing 39 see when I roll I cannot see the symbols in here because they are hiding now there but number 39 I don't have to really look in here because I have a circle numbers right in here so I don't have to go in here check for DMC all I have to do is go to my palette and look for number 39 and that is 36, 36 oh 39 oh that's not fun color to work with <laughs> that is not fun at all that's a like a off-white grayish color for that one particular color so I don't know will we work with this one right now or should I find something more colorful well, I guess we're just going to start with this one because it's first color in here. And this is 11 count Ada. We will start with three strand at once. If you want a shortcut and stitch faster, you can use the whole six threads at once and cross stitch in half stitches. The whole canvas, half stitches, but in six threads for the fullness. Lots of people do that. And actually looks really good as well but if you want to play with cross stitching and full stitch definitely work three strand only all right let's get started yeah before we start I just want to show you see, look there's so much Sun right now on my desk and here's my tools and what I see in here that I already have in my tools 
needle for 11 count Ada. One is 14 in here on my little magnet. So I will try first to use the one that I have instead of the one that came with the... Uh, it looks the same. This one like a yellow. Some of them in here came with two yellow heads and one and four of them was uh, in a kit. Two of them was pinned to the canvas and four of them was uh, in here in the tool kits and this is exactly the one like a yellow as came with the kit my other kit so I'm just going to use this one that I have already put these tools away okay and then uh, what else in here good thing I was just trying to separate my threads into the three and kind of start to struggle because one of my uh, hand nails has long nails this one short one but the best thing to use, and I always use if I can't really <laughs> separate, the tweezers work perfectly good to get your three threads with no problem to separate. Uh, some people pull in them, I just like let the go like and um, kind of like untangle this way. They just kind of um, crawl and up down on the ground and separate my threads. I know it's not the best right now because sun hit in the desk but anyway I will get this down on the floor in here kind of even helping with my knee to hold this bottom part while I'm at untangling okay and we're almost done now I have some incredible thing that will help for any stitcher in the future but I did not record the video yet so I'm not gonna spill a juice what I have something incredible because I don't know if this is incredible yet I have to test it out and record the video with something that every cross stitcher should love it okay um, when we will stitch we will be stitching a little bit more off my desk so it's not gonna be as sunny I might okay make sure it's three in here and I love this threaders they work amazing if I just can get a thread on it okay and that's it we can start now work so uh, let me put this away for now. I might will use one of the, I don't know if I have to use or not magnets right now for my needles. Usually I just, I have one in here, kitty cat, one needle stuck in here. The right in one. Oh, this is the beaten needle. Okay, we don't need the right now needle minder anyway. Okay, let's get get some work done a little bit and see I put in here how I can see it let me get a little bit of see the sun totally blinding me I don't even know if you see everything so anyway I will turn this way around move my lamp away so here it is I got this big clip I think uh, maybe even from dollar store I don't know maybe Walmart maybe can entire big big clip and I just for some reason I think it's from dollar store so that's it I clip just even from one side I didn't even do on a top yet this one is holding my canvas like this perfectly fine so I can start in here which I will start from in here and go from my right to my left and of course Daisy here stretching herself all right so see you in a sec and we can start stitch together Daisy chilling look at her sometimes she crawled up on that pillow Catherine was just laying up there on the sofa but she's not allowed to go on that side of the sofa right just in here on the puppy blanket that's why it's all furry and white but sometimes she crawled up and put her head on that cushion pillow now she's just upside down legs spread chilling sleeping pretending she's sleeping no she is sleeping that's it 
she's my companion for now the other one probably by the door somewhere or on a hallway in a cooler floor because air conditioner is working it's really really hot and sunny outside very very hot outside okay here is my shot so I will work I will show you right now how I will work let me just maybe turn light because when sun hit from the window the table looks really dark so let me pull out my magnifier and I would love to give you another tip like for the summer I said this many times but I will repeat myself again okay is this light even helping a little bit when you have this magnifier don't leave too much open on a sun for example that sun can hit your magnifier because magnifier it's a good source of starting a fire it will burn your table eventually put your house on fire so if you have this kind of lamp with the magnifier I have in here let me show you I have in here my tools up there staying I have this bag so when I'm done with my magnifier I put my lamp in the bag and turn away from my table stick the lamp right up there on a the corner between on a dark shady area because you don't want to have a house on fire it's very very dangerous so make sure you always cover your magnifier don't leave it unattended ever ever or even your sunglasses it's a magnifier we used to start fire as a kids with the not sunglasses eyeglasses when you have the lens you can start fire so be careful let's get started are you ready well let's try so my canvas right now like it's the table kind of starts in here this part is hanging on the air off my desk and I want to try experiment with you right now different techniques how to start cross stitch I never start like this before I did start before similar but not like this so what I will do my first stitch will be this first corner so I will go whatever two threads on the top you can start from further maybe but I just want to see if this is will be working I go like this from the top of the stitches you see what I have let me try to zoom maybe even more no it's going off the focus now okay so I got my two first well I hope on computer you can see more than I see right now on my screen two top overlapping threads I will pull out my needle so now I can start with holding with my right hand leave a very little tiny tail in here I hope you can see it so I will be holding this tail a little bit with this finger and this is going to be my first X so I'm going like right in the center of this the needle is not sharp so I have to kind of poke a hole oh it's tough canvas I might have to switch to another needle I don't know if the other needle more okay I got it in right in the middle of that square that I will have a full X stitch right now so I'm pulling under okay so you can see it's wiggle in here go right in the middle between threads and then I will come out from my corner on that first stitch that I will create so by going through here through the top go on the bottom I kind of create my start so the thread won't be lasted I just have to figure out if I like to work with this needle or not okay and then I will create my stitch as I would do okay I might have to a little bit unroll in here because it's too close to me but we will go move this way so I'm okay just first maybe I will be with my fingers a little bit 
overlapping you on the camera so now I will move from my right to my left which for you will be opposite because you're looking upside down and I will overlap the threads on the top so they get more secure and will go nowhere okay I never tried this before and I just like I wanted to try it right now a kind of similarity I think that when you're looking at on some sponsored ads on a Facebook when you see like Chinese factory uh, promoting their cross stitch it looks like they doing kind of similarity of the start and I wanted to try for example if you're working on a frame and your frame not flippable very easy from side to side and this is good way would be for you to start work this way without flipping your threads you know on another side how I will finish I don't know yet probably kind of some similarity I will do because I will try to create I think I did before video tutorial for you how to start without flipping your canvas on another side so as we go in right now we are securing the thread more and more it will go nowhere you can even make this little tail even shorter right now you can even push it like on the other side if you wish maybe when we will stitch the thread will pull those stitches on another side i don't know but i want to see how this will cover if it's going to be visible later or not or it will be blended in with my x stitches full stitches so that's just a little experiment see if I like this way or not and maybe this will give you idea to work this way too well it's a very light color to work with but I hope you can see very well and literally this canvas just laying on the top of my desk and that's the beauty about of canvas being stiff it's so stiff that you don't even need to have any frame at least at this point because it's easy because it's an edge and I can hold in here like right on um see this this is the edge in here so I can hold in my hand secure my um, threads on the other side as well with the finger so it doesn't get knotted but uh, yeah I just want to see if we will see this it like it's okay looks like this line pretty much is covering that thread maybe later when I get my camera off the tripod we will see better if it's uh, covering or not or it's very visible and we should go to other to our other thread to secure from like from another side we'll see what happen but I didn't stitch with you for a while and my apology to all the cross stitchers I know you've been waiting this kind of videos and uh, not too many but also uh, the, the cross stitching not as high viewed video on my channel for some reason even oh just a minute I have delivery here that was pizza delivery Catherine and I decided to have domino pizza few of their delicious chicken wings and cinnamon bread the cinnamon sticks whatever you call them they are delicious so we had a little bit of dinner boys went to see some sports so we just girls evening today and we decided to chill with pizza all right so now you can tell <coughs> I did not do any stitching without you. Here is the, our tail that is sticking out. So now we will cover totally this with the full stitch. Oh, did I just... Oh, silly me. Hold on, go back. I didn't bring my needle to the top yet. Okay, how crazy that could be. That just happened. That just happened. Will I go through the thread now? But I'm gonna tangle up even more now. What am I doing? Hold on. 
let me just pull out my thread from the needle before I tangle myself here as a maze. Oh no, where's my threader? Just a minute. I guess after dinner I'm not thinking clear. Hold on, we will fix it. We will fix it. Okay, we will fix it. Okay, I don't understand. One of this doesn't want to go. I think that's the one that I recently opened. Oh, something sticking out. I need, I need to hit this one for file maybe. Okay, I have the other one. I have the other one. This work good. Feels like something sticking out up there and keep catching it when I try to get through the hole. All right. I know I'm after focus right now because I'm too close to the camera. Okay, so I have to come out from the bottom yet. Just a minute to close our stitch. Okay, now we are doing alright. We will be. Uh, and now it's sun on my desk already. Disturbing me here. Let's close blinds a little bit more. Just drop it down. Okay. It's still sunny. Hmm. It's still sunny. Uh-huh. How about now? Okay. So here it is. Moment of truth. We're going to close. And it's actually perfectly close. My little tail up there that was sticking out. So we will not gonna lose that tail at all and we're not gonna lose our stitches. So I think I like this idea of starting this way without flipping your canvas back and forth. And to be honest, I don't really even see this thread. It's kind of camo camouflaging very well. Unfortunately, I can't right now show you a close close shot. But maybe on the end of this video, I will show you how this look like. I am just hope I will remember to do that. Alright, so now we're just going to stitch as, as normal. So I don't know if you like this way or not. You can try and see maybe, maybe you will like it as well. Now, after this video, I have a few more video to record unboxing before well you watching this video I believe it should be posted on Monday I'm recording it's only Thursday right now and tomorrow will be Friday and we are going finally camping so I have to prepare and go a little bit ahead with my videos because now I will have like three for four days with no recording unless I will find finally some time to maybe record at the trailer I don't know I keep saying but it's just never good time we'll see how this time will go and if you will hear some kind of noises in here my dogs just flop in here around me and sleeping on the floor at this moment both of them they like, I guess, to listen to my voice while I'm recording video. Okay, I'm creating a little bit shadow for you with my magnifier. How about if I'm not gonna look through the magnifier, but let me let me just move my camera and point this way so you can see. Let me try to work without magnifier if I can find a hole without. This way, see, you don't have too much of the shadow, okay? I think it will be more pleasant for you to watch. I will get new pair of sets eyes later, right? If I get blind. <laughs> oh, I really have to go and check my eyes. I should probably wear some glasses, but I'm refusing to believe I'm that bad. But it's only one set of eyes we have, and working with all those little tiny diamonds definitely trigger your eyes work harder so is cross stitching 
by the way you see my pretty nail I have a tutorial on my beauty channel if you wish to look on my Natalia XO channel I did some uh, remember we did with you unboxing video from beadpark.com it's all about beads up there but it's not just the beads up there I ordered up there it was a nail product so I created I created just one on this one with daisies because I still need to finish see this one long one this one shorty one so I just put on them transfer stickers and I really like this one, roses, looks good for the short nails anyway I think, at least it's more kinda for the video <laughs> instead of being a bare hands yeah so if you want I can link it up that video for you as well if you wanna hop in because we all lady who like to craft we also like to have some time from time some good manicures right you can check it out what I did up there it will make me feel good if you join my other channel as well I'm still waiting for 2000 subscribers so I can have an awesome palette as a giveaway one of my videos I showed you uh, which palette will be as a giveaway it's a beautiful beautiful palette I bought one for myself and one for a giveaway so I'm just waiting till I hit 2000 so I can finally do a giveaway so if you want to help me out and subscribe up there go ahead because I have few more products to review on that channel so I will be more a little bit often to post up their videos now I have some beauty product to review okie dokie I have to say that I'm really impressed right now not because I am so awesome it's because the threads layer in so nicely well maybe I'm awesome too I don't know let me give a credit to myself <laughs> oh that's funny okay so look at those stitches they look so good I am not sure at this point with my camera focusing properly or not this one a little bit further but maybe you can see better I don't know should I readjust no which way readjust no I don't know how it would be better or not so anyway this excess layer so nice and neat the threads is wonderful so far even I thought this color for the stitching together with you looks kind of a little bit boring but at least it's visible on the red color on the top so this is definitely our background which is very light background up there It feels like go my thread going a little bit harder through the canvas when it gets to this point. It kind of feels like I have to force it. I might have to try the other needle. You know, just for curiosity, just for curiosity, let me a little bit zoom out back. And I will try to see if the other needle that's actually came in this kit, if they will go more easy through the canvas or not. So we have nowhere to rush, right? We're going to experiment. And I will get four of those needles that was um, not with the canvas. Because if you can see, you see those gold holes? That's the one that was in the canvas. And this, the other four that's totally silver, they came in with this extra toolkit. So I'm gonna try this one. So I will pull out my needle from here, just for in case I will pin it right next to me, Anna. And I will try.
Now I don't remember if this is the good one or not. Yeah, that's the good one, Treader. Okay, let's see if this needle work better or not. Maybe it will be easier go through the canvas. Let's see if they are good or not. Sometimes needle could be a little bit or sharp or not enough sharp. And you force it and you hurt in your arm. So let's see. It feels like maybe this one. Oopsie. Feels like this one maybe even a little bit more thinner. I don't know. Okay, let me try. Let me try and let me tell you. Uh huh. I feel like this needs a little bit more sharper, so go easier through the canvas. But also, okay, where's the hole? But also, this part a little bit not as wide like the other my needle. I don't know if you can see on comparison in here. Can we see the difference on the size? Let me let me put like this together. Hold on. I think maybe even visually, I don't know if you can see or not, but feel like this needle a little bit, a little bit thinner than this one. So this one go better through the canvas. Okay, I'm gonna work with this one. I put that one back into my toolbox. Okay, I love it. The needle is good actually. You kind of catch it because it's a, a thread, you know, folded twice. So like we pull in here, in here, uh, six thread at once. But it go much easier with this one. All right. So should we go, 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 go back close to me? Don't walk away. Don't walk away. All right. Let me try and see if I can figure out the work right now with... Oh! <laughs> Why am I so crazy? Anybody can explain to me? Did you see what I just did? <laughs> I went through the hole from here horizontal instead of one up. Okay, since I sit down and start something different, I always have to make a mess. I wish I can go through... But, uh. Oh, for heaven's sake, all right. The struggle, who can relate to this? It's okay. It's okay. We can just pull this out and start over. The problem is I talk too much and that's what happened. So we will retread again. Big deal. No big deal at all, right? Okay, now make sure I'm doing it right. Okay, so I will go. I will put my right hand now under the canvas. And I will try to stitch with two hands. Let's see if I can do this. Let's see if I can do this. Oh, that is so not comfortable with the left hand. Keep your stronger arm under the canvas. Okay, since I'm already here close, I'm gonna get this one stitch in here. Okay, sometimes need help. Okay, so in here, I will get this one and go all the way in here. And then when I will start new thread, I will start from here and go all the way around and go top row in here because it's the same color. So I will not go right now over there to create more, you know, passages over this 45 green color. So yeah, the canvas is a little bit shaky because there's no frame. I think you do understand that it's not possible to keep a sturdy. But I always wanted to 
learn better how to stitch like to not to learn but to get more comfortable to stitch with two hands because when you stitch in just with one hand and for a long time you will feel your shoulder and neck it start hurt okay we are not made of steel it start to hurt so this way kind of like you distribute your workout <laughs> it's like a workout for both arm not just the one but it just crazy not comfortable okay for now because I'm shaking canvas too much for you this way too so I will work with one hand well I hope you having a fun stitching together with me thank you for being so patient because I know I should do more whips and chats with the cross stitch as I do with diamond painting and I'm so appreciate you patiently waiting you are very patient you know what I just realized I just made my new beginning a new start we just created together with you we started from absolutely the first stitch so I would love to congratulate you as well to starting with me new project and let's hope that I will not put aside for a long long time and never touch again so time from time promise to remind me about this one but you know what it's 11 count it's easy to stitch so I bet I will be stitching more often this one plus it's so easy canvas to work on because of the colors patches no confetti whatsoever you know the canvas that I'm stitching horses oh my god that one is difficult so I will say the difficulty up there from uh, from one to five I would say probably five but this one is just like a dream super duper easy and you know as long as we're stitching already my thread did not fluffen up at all so it still have a good condition which the thicker needle that we just changed would be actually better for your thread the thicker needle then it's me needle will create a little bit bigger hole so your thread will slide up and down more free without rubbing on the inside of your uh, fabric edges so it's kind of like you know depends how you look and it could be better to use thicker needle it's just uh, hard to pull and after a while your fingers probably wrist will be sore I always wanted to experiment and try to do the whole canvas in half stitches but with the full thread so it's kind of like it doesn't matter you create you know a half stitch with three threads then another three threads go you know uh, go on a trying to create big X then you go another three go on a top so it's already go six threads right so when you double them together you will have one thick half stitch it should cover very good so I really really want to start this and try maybe I, I could do this way my other flowers with the peacock and do that way that would be good I think comparison comment below if I should try that or not or I should just follow as it is because in here I believe it's a all full stitch in here you know what now I'm gonna question myself is it <laughs> okay that would be funny let me just check my booklet because now I'm not convinced I can't remember oh my goodness what if this is half stitch is supposed to be which I doubt it let me pull out my book and double check because because this idea just came now to me and what if I'm wrong okay I will do this 
off camera so hold on hold on hold on where is it okay everything in full stitches all right 46 colors in here okay so i i wasn't doing anything wrong Whew, okay that was a little scary moment but make you think and you know <laughs> go to your book and revisit all right good now i know that i'm doing the right thing let's continue the only thing when you're doing a full stitch as i'm stitching right now like go up then go down pull it's like you're triggering your arm to go twice for the same stitch instead of if i would do you know like where is the needle instead instead of if i would do like this and just pull out but this way my threads will be a little bit more rubbing off and I don't want to have any like a fluff and a start is going on. Plus, um, for the sake of saving your arms, it's not arms but wrist and your fingers, it's easy go when you pull up and down instead of stitching in twice on a printed canvas and pull it. It's really hard pull you have to create. If you stitching on a printed canvas, you know what I'm talking about. When you stitch an uncounted cross stitch, when your fabric are very, very soft, uh, that way definitely it's good to do in uh, two stitches at once because it's canvas very uh, light and airy and soft. This one, because we have a paint over, so it's like holes very much covered with the paint. And it's more difficult. Okay, see what I'm doing? As soon as I try to explain, Oh, is this a time like quit or something? <laughs> I did it again. I did it again. Come on. Can I pull out from the other side once? Let me see if it's going to work and I'm just going to tangle up myself even more. Oh, I did it. Okay. Phew. Okay. So whatever I wanted to say, I hope you understand. Is this is enough light for you to watch stitching? Is it good enough? I really like to know if this stitching was comfortable for you to watch. I know my camera just stopped right now. So I will stitch a little bit, a little bit more. With just a little bit more in here because I can kind of... Okay, maybe I can move camera itself like a screen like this. A little bit going to be crooked, but... I can't move my tripod because it's staying like one leg over my rolled canvas and the other leg staying on a flat surface on the canvas so I just don't want to lift it up my camera. So we'll do a little bit more, maybe get these two stitches and then I will be taking you off the tripod and I will show you very very close this first stitches because I really want you to see have this start look like and i think i really like this way um or should we stitch till i finish this thread so we can figure out how we can finish the same way uh, i can't remember how was i finishing before uh, from the front oh i think i was going through the center again and go back to the other side uh, there's a many different techniques how you can start and how you can finish and I do have a video how to stitch like tips and tutorials for the beginners on a cross stitch. So if you never stitched before, please watch those videos. They will help you a lot. I put up there lots of different techniques how to start. Uh, I even have a video how I explain how to work on a printed canvas uh, versus a book okay why this one doesn't go okay sometimes paint just like seal the hole uh yeah about the um, symbols and have the print different from canvas and different inside of the book i do have some good tutorials i think and 
I really encourage everybody to try to stitch at least once in your life to just to see if you like it. So far everyone who watching my videos and try cross stitch they fell in love and I receive very very often messages on Instagram on Facebook that you are loving it. Okay, see another difficult hole. Thick layer of paint. That's why these canvas are so stiff. If you like to work with soft canvas, definitely rubbing your hands like squishy mushy. <laughs> beating up that canvas to make a soft and that way it's more comfortable to do in two stitches because your canvas would be softer more applicable to hold in your hand you see like I'm right now I'm stitching without any magnifier light and very comfortable to stitch on 11 count Ada it's just the only thing if you like a huge canvases or not because same image on 14 count would be such a like more compact design when you finish but if you are doing a cross stitching not just you know to hang later on a wall but for the sake of working and enjoy the process and that's what I'm doing I don't care I love it I have one canvas that I was stitching in on 18 count Ada that was kind of a little bit more difficult and more pushy because um, the square is much more smaller and feels sometimes like there's no room for a needle to go to create another stitch between them but that was I think my puppy flowers a uh, little one that I still did not do back stitch on it oh I'm bad I have two cross stitch that I need to finish or I should say stash I should say start and finish backstitch it's my puppy flowers and the winter image that I started very very first one with joy Sunday mm, yeah I already put that canvas in a frame prepare for the backstitching I even put in my spinner wheel on my iPad to to keep in my rotation and guess what my hands never touched the never touched it yet because I want to try something new and I know I need to finish I need to make myself a promise to finish grab one and start working little by little but to be honest those puppy flowers if you didn't see yet check my cross stitch uh, playlist those puppy cross stitch I order from Aliexpress and I have a rose, the same kind of concept. Oh, love it. It looks so beautiful even without back stitching. So I just, I can't even imagine. Well, I saw the full stitched already with the back end. A uh, girl was stitching a counted cross stitch. But mine was printed and looks so gorgeous, so juicy. Very, very pretty. For people who like uh, religion images, I have very beautiful cross stitch to review. I will give you a hint right now. I'm not very much about uh, like a religion stuff, uh, stitch or diamond paint. Very, very, like not very often I can choose something that is actually I like it. But that one image I was watching one of the lady was stitching and when I saw the result oh I'm talking right now I'm getting the goosebumps seriously that is such a gorgeous picture so watch out for my unboxing video from the company art painting world I think that will be this week in unboxing I believe so so very beautiful 
so I will be stitching that one as well sometime to get my Holy Spirit and you know all right this video I feel like it's going to be long you like long video and I hope you stitching with me if you're not stitching with me grab your diamond paint and, and diamond paint if you don't diamond paint if you don't do it grab some threads uh, you know crochet with me or knit quilt whatever you like to do I just want you to stay creative or maybe you are beaten right now okay I think I will go in here since I'm already with the thread kind of close to this two I will go and create this two stitches that I have a little bit up go to next one and go back to my bottom rows See, I'm, I'm enjoying so much that I forgot I'm recording and I'm supposed to chit chat something. I should have a good video to this week together with Sherry. She's supposed to visit me or maybe she is visiting me as you're watching this video. I don't know because we didn't make exactly date yet, but plus it's only a Thursday for me right now. Monday, she might well come to me Monday. We will be coloring. I know I'm getting close to the edge. Maybe it's not very comfy for you to watch. I just want right now get to this one more in here row to catch this two stitches as well. I feel so happy and satisfied right now by starting this canvas. You have no idea. It's a happy moment. It's a big girl in a candy store. <laughs> yes, I know, I have a whole bunch of here canvases around me. But to create some new start, and now I know there is not in a pack, sealed and sitting somewhere on a shelf. I know that any moment I decide to have some satisfaction with those beautiful flowers arrangements and 11 count, which is easy to stitch, I will just, yeah, I can grab. I know it's already open, it's already prepared and I can grab and stitch any moment and that is a really happy moment. Yes, my new, my new beginning. Okay, we are getting close to the end of the thread almost. my battery flashing already I feel like I just changed my battery okay I guess we'll 
stitch till it's my battery die. But I will replace battery and show you close shot. So I'm not gonna leave you without my promise. I actually would love to. Okay, I might will move camera a little bit. Okay, should we go for a ride? Okay. I'm not sure if my camera will shut off on me right now. Hold on, hold on. I will move you on the other side of my roll in here. Okay. This way. And I will try to make a few more stitches. Maybe we can finish in time before my camera shut down. I wanted actually to to see how I can seal this to finish my thread. I want to see what what I choose to choose to do because at this point I don't know what I want to do. So it's going to be spontaneous finish. I'm stitching to the very last bit of thread. Seriously, I am very economical. Is that is it's even word or practical would be probably better to say. I like to use every little bit not to waste any of the precious threads because we never know actually in a stitching how much we need. Is it enough? company put threads in here or not because not too fast we can finish this kind of big canvases so you never know you know if you would just buy you can complain and tell company oh you don't have enough threads left I mean not enough to finish and they can or reimburse your money or send you some extra threads I don't know but till the time when you finish could be years go by it would be like too late to complain anyway. But if you do cross stitch, a country cross stitch, you can finish at least some of the colors much sooner. And I can't believe my battery is still flashing and not turn it off on me. Maybe we have a time to finish that was my email on my cell phone pop this lovely music I'm really trying oopsie trying to do fast Okay, you know what, I will finish now because it's a very little tail left in here. So usually how I finish before, I go again on one of the corner and I stick my needle again on the center of my stitch, which is a little bit difficult to do in here on this printed. Then I do one more time, just to make sure right in the center and go on another side and then I pull out my thread somewhere next and now I can cut okay I should use my fancy scissors that I have but I have this one right now in my kit and I just snap it up front and we are done all right, now I'm gonna replace my battery and I will show you very close what did this stitch and how it's look like. All right, see you in a sec. Seriously, if you are a YouTuber and you, and you record videos as much as I do, you need to have a spare battery for your camera. It's so good just to switch battery and that's it. Oh wow, somebody really need me. Okay, so anyway, 
here it is very very close let me even lift it up maybe can um, okay look at that that's our start this is as close I can get you you see how it's kind of like look like it's a fuller stitches up there but you can't really see that thread go there plus because we see right now up there on the bottom red color poking out that's the paint on a canvas when it's going to be washed away all you will see this beautiful white threads well it's off white and uh, white canvas so what I'm saying this start I actually like it and our finish here's our finish let's see can we see it okay any more light maybe hold on this light will help or not here is our finish so now if I flip a little bit on the back in here here is our stitches just the line up and the way I over cross it's always create this kind of line see that's it nice and neat and we are start so here's the stitches I think they layer and with this threads really really nice what are you saying I think I can pat myself on the head right now I like it I like it and so much to go Woo! okay so next time you will see me stitching I probably will finish this color because I feel like I'm going to be stitching tonight yeah love it I hope you enjoy this today video make happy stitches overlap them nicely have fun and I will see you tomorrow what do I have tomorrow for my video I don't know there's always something if not one video could be two video right now as I record on Thursday I have three videos because I have a extra video on my beauty channel Natalia XO I love you all and I will see you next time Happy stitching!